Hi everyone, it's Joan and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a back to school shopping haul as well as how I organize my school bag and my textbooks in preparation for school. So this year, I'm really motivated to upload on YouTube, hopefully consistently, if not often. I cannot express enough the trouble that I had last year with like, you know, storage problems, editing software and all of that. But long story short, it's all sorted. And I received, there's no way, that's the first time I did that. I better not drop this, but I was gifted um, a vlogging camera for Christmas from my family. And I am so grateful for this because they know how passionate I am about like YouTube vlogging and all of that. Because it's something that I enjoy doing and they know that I love this. And um, I've been asking them for a camera for ages. But I am filming on my phone just because I haven't figured out how to use this properly and the best way possible. So stay tuned for more videos to come this year. I start school on the 1st of February and that's like 10 days from now. It's all happening so fast. I still can't believe how quickly the holidays has went by, um, but I hope everyone is having an amazing holiday for Australia. This year is gonna be um, definitely gonna be challenging and different. I'm going into year 11 this year for school and there's so much that has changed. Not only because I've chosen the subjects that I'm going to be doing at school, but also because I feel like year 11 is just the game changer. I feel like year seven to 10 are kind of, you know, more chill and not very, okay, you've got to like study and stuff. Um, no, definitely study, but it's just more that in year 11, year 12, it's kind of more serious because you've got HSC coming up and all of that. And I also have quite a few friends in year 11 who have told me, um, a lot of advice going into this year so I'm very keen excited a bit nervous at the same time I am just gonna keep my head up and let's see what happens this year also happy new year guys I hope you guys are having a great start into the new year so before I start this haul I might as well just let you guys know what subjects I have chosen I go to a Catholic school and we require to have 12 units some might be two units some subjects might be one unit I've chosen dance obviously um, biology, community and family studies, English advanced, English extension, um, one, e one unit religion, and then standard math. So those are my subjects for the year. Um, and I kind of regret picking biology, not gonna lie. So the first thing that I'm going to show you guys are my textbooks that um, we were asked to buy based on our subjects. So I have my standard math textbook, my blitz in biology, super excited for this subject then i have my standard not standard what's this advanced english english extension we actually don't have a book yet i just realized i was holding my hands on. um and then my community and family studies textbook they're very heavy keeping in mind um i have no idea how i'm going to my back i just don't know how i'm going to manage like if i have all these subjects in the same day and need to carry all these books in my bag I have no idea what's gonna happen to me. So the next thing I'm going to show you are actually my school shoes. I've included this only because this is also part of back to school shopping, you know, getting new school shoes. Um, I've actually had my school shoes for the past two years. So, not three, two, two years. Um, and so it was time to get a new pair because they were kind of wrecked and smelly. And I'm also showing you these because I don't know any other high school girl who does not get this exact same pair of shoes. I think everyone gets this because it makes them like two inches taller or something. The brand is Rock and they've got a thick heel. I'm a size eight, my size hasn't changed. But anyways, so the next item is my binder. And um, I chose turquoise because it was probably like the nicest color office works that I liked. I don't know if it's because other colors were taken, um, but I think this is the color, Is this is my color of the year. This is a four ring i don't know what you call these but this and let me just show you guys how i organized um the inside of it i actually bought notebooks per subject from officeworks i actually returned them and we don't really use our notebooks as much we still do but um last year i found that i had a lot of pages left in my books because my mom was a genius and thought of this brilliant idea so i have colored separators here so i only need like five or four dividers for each subject and so basically how I've laid my binder out is I've put my math book at the top because this is like the only like notebook that I need, like physical notebook. And then 
Um, I use like these colored um, things to separate each of the subjects and between each of them I just have 10 pieces of paper and then I have two plastic sleeves so these can be for like worksheets instead of like gluing them in if that makes sense um, and I feel like just doing this method literally just saves a lot more effort into carrying your binder around the school as well as you also get to save paper which is absolutely amazing so basically I just did 10 papers two worksheets and then the color and then 10 and then two and then the color obviously i've got a lot of these papers so if i just need to add more then i will add more paper so that's basically how i organized um my binder i think this will be very efficient and easy to work with throughout the school year I have no idea what's going to happen if the teacher asks me, like if they ask to collect books, but I'm probably just going to put it in like a clear sleeve and just explain to them my little dilemma. And they'll probably be okay with it because we're hashtag saving the environment. That's kind of like all like the new stuff that I bought. Also like glue sticks and white out obviously, um, but I'm just going to show you guys how I organize my pencil cases for school. So this year I've decided to have two pencil cases. Um, and they're both kind of small and I kind of like how it's like that. Um, last year I used to have just one pencil case with like three compartments and that worked perfectly, but it got really dirty. So this one, ooh. so this pencil case just has the standard like pen, pencil, ruler, red pens, um, my calligraphy pen because I love decorating my notes, um, sharpener, glue, whiteout, and a rubber. But let me just mention, you guys probably don't care, <laughs> but um, this is my, all-time favorite pen i've been using this type of pen this pilot pen since i was in year eight because of how good it is it is a heavy pen and i feel like you don't really have to press hard as much because the ink really comes out this was like i think 10 11 dollars but you can buy it for cheap like just the reusable like ink um and it comes in these like little packets and I still have a ton of them. So I'll probably be using this till I graduate or until I die. And in my second pencil case, I actually just have my scissors and then my highlighters as well as a spare whiteout. I cannot express enough the amount of people that ask to borrow a whiteout because either they ran out or they just forgot to bring it. They don't have any. So instead of taking the one that I'm using, always bring a spare. So the next two things I'm going to show you. These are my brush pens um, that I also like to decorate my notes with. Um, there's like a thin side, like a felt tip side, and then the brush pen. And then this is a little notebook. It does say 2020 on it because this was a 2020 diary, but this is just for my SRC notes. So I was elected as SRC for year 11. And so we were actually given notepads and I just didn't want the notepad to get ruined. So I kept it in this little diary as well as a gold pen next to it. Um, we've got meetings, I think, once every fortnight, so they always tell us to bring um, out notes um, based on what we were assigned the meeting prior. This is actually my school backpack. And on this left side, I was um, one of my family friends, one of the mums, they customized a little keyring for me for Christmas um, with my name on it and this cute little brown little extra something and a little bit of spice now i've showed you all the stuff that i got for school i am going to show you guys where i place them in my bag so all my textbooks that are very heavy will be placed in this compartment at the very back of my bag and then right in front of it there's also another compartment there's a lot of space here i will be putting in my leadership notes my brush pens and my two pencil cases in that compartment um, and then what else am I putting there? Oh, my laptop is also going to be there as well in this case. I also have a diary, but I'm not sure if I want to bring that to school. I definitely recommend using it. Although I do have a habit of like using it for the first few months and then I just stop using it. So my goal this year is to, you know, use the whole diary for the whole year. Okay, anyway, so that's the back apartment. Oh wait, that's such a lie, I forgot. This top zip here, I just, I always keep my calculator because you never know when you need to do math. So if you've got a free period, if you've got free time, you always do math because math always has a lot of work. So that's my calculator in there. And then the middle zip, I just keep my basic umbrella. I keep my school lunch in here as well as my jackets for school. So if I have a jumper, I will always keep it inside this zip if I'm not wearing it. 
And then the very, very front zip, I just feel like the little items as well as like emergency kits. So that will include like pads um, and tampons and tissues, hand sanitizer, hand cream. What I meant by the little things are like AirPods, emergency combs, um, lip balm, all of that. So that's basically how I pack my school bag. Oh, I completely forgot my water bottle. My, my water bottle is also in the middle zip. Um, where my school lunch, my jumper, and my umbrella are. So that concludes today's video. Before I finish, I'd just like to, you know, mention, you know, some things that I've learned from high school, as well as some advice that I would give to someone who's starting high school, or, you know, someone who's already in high school, but, I mean, I guess you can take it or not. Um, but something I've learned first is that a lot of people are kind of just embarrassed. They're more, they're embarrassed of, you know, participating in all of that. Um, I just think some advice I'd give is to actually participate because you never know how fun it's going to be as well as getting your friends involved because sometimes things might seem really stupid or like, you know, it's a waste of your time and all of that. I just think if there's an opportunity, always take it because you never know what you're going to get out of it. Also, I think this advice is more for people who are just starting high school is that your friends that you enter high school with are probably not going to be the same people that you um, stick around with until you're 12. A lot of things, a lot of people change and that's okay and you just got to find your group of people and I feel like a part of that is also participating in the extracurricular activities because you'll find people who have the same interest as you and it'll be a lot easier to find more friends. I wish everyone the best for the new year and I'm super excited, I'm super keen to see what's in store. I've been planning a lot of like video ideas for YouTube so to kind of like make up tutorials Get ready with me, self-cares, morning routines. I'm also moving houses soon, so hopefully I can do like a room transformation or like an empty house tour. I recently got my L's, so maybe we can go for a drive together or something. Basically a lot has happened and I'm super excited. I'm really excited. I cannot express that enough. Closer to when school starts, I'll be filming like a self-care kind of preparation vlog for school. Um, but also in that video, I'll incorporate um, myself packing my school bag just because I feel like that's also part of self-care just making sure that you stay organized and all of that so stay tuned for that video if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a like and make sure you're subscribed and don't forget to turn on your post notifications so that way you get notified every single time I upload a brand new video be kind and stay positive and I'll see you guys in the next one very soon bye